Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, before we start, if you have not subscribed and if you do find my videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like what I am presenting and have presented before, do like it. So let's get started. Uh, Windows 11. Uh, Microsoft has released Windows 11 for general use now. And that would mean you probably are one of those uh, lucky ones who are already have a new Windows 11 machine or is planning to install Windows 11. Um, this video is not for uh, is not for you if you are, are upgrading from a previous version of Windows and you already have the development features like IS already uh, enabled. But still, if you are still looking into adding more features, uh, stay tuned. You will find uh, this video useful as well. So. Uh, so you got a new Windows 11 machine. Now you are looking into how do I enable features like IS. Uh, in the older Windows, it used to be called Programs and Features screen, and it is still there. Uh, Microsoft has not removed it. They just kind of changed some names and moved from how do you get to it. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways. Uh, one is a going through different user interface steps to get to that screen. And second one will be is uh, just directly from command prompt, you just launch the wizard. So first, let's get to the user interface part of it. Uh, so in Windows 11, you see your taskbar is kind of centered now. So you click on that, that Windows uh, icon, start, and then you go to settings. Once you have settings on the left, you will see apps. You will click on it. Now, Microsoft calls it optional features, not programs and features anymore. So they have a separate apps and features. Uh, that is for the features that are already installed. Now, if you are looking into adding additional features, you will click on it. Uh, you still don't see, all you see is install features. At the top, you have a little two uh, optional features option that is not that is going to get to where you want to get to you have to scroll to the bottom and you will find there is another panel at the bottom which says related settings and more windows features you click on it and you get to that your turn windows feature on or off screen that you are familiar with from here you take the action that you're looking for for example if you are looking into enabling IS and other web development features, that will be the place where you will go. So that is one way to do it. Uh, now let's look at the second way. Second way will be is that you just directly get to the screen that will take you very quickly there instead of clicking through three or four steps. So what you can do is you can just bring up the Windows terminal and type app with CPL. There we go. You got the screen which shows you your uh, ins uninstalled screen or in from where you can access what is already installed and you can uninstall them. You go to the left, say turn Windows features on or off. Again, you are back to the screen which you are familiar with and from where you will enable the features. Now, if you have to use this screen more often, then you will definitely be looking for a way to create a shortcut for it. So how do you do it? Uh, just say right click on the main view, say new shortcut, and it's going to ask you what item would you like to create a shortcut for? You're going to say app with CPL, because that is one that's going to bring it up. It's going to ask you what would you like to call your shortcut? You can just call it programs and features because that's what you may remember it by finish and there we go right here we got programs and features shortcut double click and I got the screen that I wanted that's all that is to it to how to bring up the programs and features screen from where you can enable additional Windows features uh, I hope you find this video useful and will help you in getting increasing your productivity and getting to where you want to get to for enabling Windows features. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.